hello everyone and welcome back to my channel if you're a new subscriber please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and turn on the notification bell please ignore me i'm using my bare hands today because i'm out of gloves but i'm going to be using a rubbing alcohol to spray all my tools and my hand as well and i also used a, a hand sanitizer i'm going to be showing you how to make a lightning face cream with organic ingredients okay so sit back and enjoy I also have this 3-in-1 jug for sale as well as the digital scale. So if you're interested, please send a message to the WhatsApp number displayed on the screen. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead to measure out my base cream. I have a video on how to make your own base cream. You can check that out. This is my recipe today. I'm going to make it 100 gram of face cream. Guys, remember that your formulation should total up to 100%. This video was inspired by another YouTuber, but I'm just going to tweak um, it to my specifications. We also conduct trainings. If you're interested, send a message. This is my recipe book. I have a list of ingredients, their usage rates, their pH scale, the solubility. This will help me to know how much of them I need in my formulation and what pH level they're supposed to be at. All the powders I'm using today are going to be soluble in water. They are all lightening powders. And this face cream is going to be for hyperpigmentation, uneven skin. This book tells me the benefits of these powders, what they should look like, and the effect they have on the skin. So this is going to help with my formulation today. It is very important that you know the usage rate of an ingredient because you don't want to overput it and make it um, give your skin some sort of reaction. So it's very important that you know the usage rates of your ingredients. So I'm going to push that to the side and quickly tell you guys about our recipe today. Okay. So some of the powders I'm using today are Alpha Abutin powder, Giga White powder, Glutathione, Beerberry. This face cream is going to be titled a beer berry face cream because I want it to have those amazing benefits that the beer berry powder has. So beer berry is going to be my most active ingredient in this powder. Usually you're advised to settle between 3 to 5 powders in whatever formulation you're making. So try to keep it within 3 to 5 powders range. You don't want too much powders in your product. You want to make sure that your formulation totals up to 100%. Your formulation should be in percentages and then your recipe will be in grams. So today I wanted to use the ratio 6 to 30 to 10. I say wanted because I had to make some changes alongside. So as you can see, I made adjustments to the grams because it made me understand the usage levels of these powders. Remember this video was inspired by someone else. So I was able to tweak the usages based on my own um research so my hydrosol today is going to be my rose water i'm going to be using either the nano or bb clear serum but then looking at it the nano serum had the xanta gum which is going to give like a gel like consistency hence i think i will use the nano serum it's also okay to use the bb clear serum as well they are all good serums to use for this face cream this is going to give it more like a boost to help with the whitening effect All these powders selected are compatible, so they are all okay. That's Seppi White, Alantoin powder, my Alpha Abutin, my Giga White, my Beerberry powder. All these powders I have available for sale. If you're interested, please send a message to the WhatsApp number displayed on the screen or in the comment section. This is my base cream. Like I said, I have a video on that. If you want to see how I made that base cream, that is what I'm going to be using for my formulation today. So I made a lot of mistakes today making this face cream, which is very, very funny. But then I'm going to be sharing those mistakes that I made so that you can make a better version. This is also the White Secret Face Serum. You can use that. Glutathione powder would have been an option for me today because glutathione has a very sulfuric smell. 
which I'm already getting tired of how it comes out in my formulation, no matter how small the percentage is. Okay, so that is a 50 grams um, container. I'm going to be using that for my face cream today. So let's just get right into this video. So my scale has been reset to zero. I'm going to be adding in 20 grams of my base cream. I'm also going to make it up to 22 because sometimes your base cream might spill or something might go wrong. So I always like to leave that extra gram in it just to be on the safe side, okay? So I'm just gonna measure 22 grams. We're going to push that to the side and move on to our powders. So I'm going to be measuring out my powders. Today I'm going to start with my beer berry powder. I'm going to be measuring 18 grams of beer berry powder. I said the ratio 60 to 30 to 10 because I wanted to have 30% of powders in my formulation. So I also struggled with my scale a lot. You want to remember that when you put it, um, you press hard, it's going to reset to a zero, ignoring the weight of the products or the container you're using to measure. So I'm just going to go over to measure my 18 grams. So my scale, the cup already weighs three, so I reset it to zero using Tide. I'm going to measure my Giga White powder. I'm using 5% of Giga White powder in my formulation because Giga White powder can be used up to 5% so I'm going to use 5 grams of gigawatt powder now this scale is already 9 grams I'm just going to add 2 grams of my alpha abatine powder because alpha abatine powder is used at a 2% um, that's the maximum so I'm going to leave it at that the next powder I'm going to be using is my elantoin powder I'm going to be measuring out my Alantoin powder. I'm using 2 grams of Alantoin powder because the usage rate of Alantoin powder is 2%. So I'm going to make sure that it's 2 grams of Alantoin powder. I'm going to measure my glutathione powder. Like I said, if you can skip glutathione powder, I would say so. I'm just going to be using 0.5 grams of um, glutathione powder in this formulation because I was just tired of how it changes the smell of my products. So I used 0.5 grams of that. Now I'm going to go over to melt my powders. This was the first mistake I made. I used 
my hydro soul correctly without remember to warm it up so as you can see it's not properly dissolved it still has like particles in it so this was my first mistake you want to make sure that your hydro soul is warm so when i realized that i made that mistake i went over to warm up my hydro soul So as you can see, I brought in my warm hydrosol. You want to make sure your hydrosol is at 40 degrees Celsius. And you can see that dissolved beautifully because it's warm hydrosol. So I'm going to use that warm water to dissolve all my powders. If you want to keep the quantity of water I used 5 to 10 ml. I used way too much um, hydrosol to melt my powders. That is the second mistake I made. You want to make sure that all your powders are properly dissolved so you make sure it has like um, a very tea like consistency and let it sit I didn't let mine sit for a while that is the third mistake I made so you want to make sure that you let it sit for a while So I added my powder into my base cream and I'm just mixing that in. Because of the quantity, I couldn't use my um, blender so I had to use my hand to make sure that it was properly uh, melted. It turned out to be very liquidy so I needed to increase my base cream. So I wasn't really bothered about hand mixing just yet because I wasn't getting the consistency I wanted. Because of the quantity of water I used was much, it had messed up my formulation. So I'm going to increase my base cream. I'm going to put in another 20 gram of base cream and subtract that from the amount of oil I'm going to be using for this formulation. So it's all about balancing and making sure that everything goes into 100%. I measured another 20 grams of base cream to add to my formulation. So that means I now I have 40% um, of base cream, 30% powders, and then I'm going to have 20% and 30% of oil. As you can see, it's much more thicker. And this, is this is where I made the third mistake. I realized I didn't put my Alantone powder and I felt like, oh, since it's still warm, let me just throw it in there. And that is what I did. And then I made a very terrible mistake. So I had to go, you know, double boil the product and now it's in this liquid form. So I'm going to let it refrigerate for a while and see. Um, if that's going to completely melt my Alantone powder. 
so after soil defining i whipped it up and this is what i got so this is the final result i did still have some particles in it so you definitely want to watch out for the mistakes i talked about but this is going to be a very very effective face cream and you're going to love the product thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye